Hello everybody and welcome back to Salmon Plays. I'm Salmon and I'm playing more Dead Space. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, as soon as you load into the game, you get the main menu, right? This screen. Uh, but then you can see behind it, that's actually the save point. So if you press continue, the game has already loaded the latest save. Great, right? So, uh, I think our mission, let's do a refresher here. Our mission is to find a shock pad. A small explosive charge will get me through the barricade. But I need the donator, okay. I am feeling like this is still too loud for some reason. Let's go. Some loading there. Refilled on stasis too. Okay, that didn't work. Is there more of... No, not that. Oh, come on. Oh, I grabbed it? I grabbed it and dropped it. Okay, so if you get them stuck on the wall, they just drop the items. Is there more that I'm not seeing? What is this? There's a lot of vents. And a lot of noise from those vents. Okay, we're supposed to go down here, but let me just take a quick look. Make sure we're not missing anything. No, we're not. Uh, by the way, it turns out there was an Nvidia driver for this game that I had installed. Which I did within episodes. What's that? Okay. Oh, the quarantine lifts when you kill the other one. Quarantine lifted. Okay, that's a lot of doors that open now. This one. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We need to go through that door back there. Okay, that door open now. Let's uh, check the rest of this room. Doctor T Kine CSO. Okay, yeah, we read we read about uh, think about him. What's that? Oh. Then what in God's name is happening down there? Precisely that. God's work. Oh How no. Can you say that. <laughs> These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? 
cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. There is. For unitology, for humanity. Of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. That's what worries me. Okay. The third one seems to be the smart one. Entry. So this thing, the marker, join us in paradise. Right. Personal log, Dr. T. Kind, Chief Science Officer, observations on the marker. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but have been, but they've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology? Without EarthGov here to seize them first. This marker, could this marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see the that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the Church and its teachings comforted me, saved me. And now I'm aware, in the right place at the right time, to be of service to all humanity, to repay those, repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. Okay, so I'm guessing he wrote this before this conversation happened, because at this point he seems to have kinda lost his trust on this whole thing. The Church of Unitology. Okay, just adds. Surgical log, Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable. I finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without kind, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Dr. N. Brennan. So we have a name for them now, Necromorphs. Nicole? It's me. Nicole? Who is Nicole? What? What is he talking about? Oh, wait, is he starting to see things, too? Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. Oh, no, it's With medication office? and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Okay, I did not the... signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. What? Rig location inconclusive. Okay. Manual rig tracking is available. Side mission. Scientific methods. Investigate the emergency room. Oh, okay. And it tells you that it's actually blocked at this point. Okay, that's good. That's a nice feature. Patient log. Dr. Nicole Brennan, Senior Medical Officer. Okay, she had a good job. Counseling session 3. Transcript for patient name redacted. Dr. Brennan. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Thanks, it's just so hard to remember what's real. Whoa, that's it. <laughs> Off the deep end immediately. Your church mentor talked to you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. 
Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who I tried and her son tried so hard, but she... I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church pool can be. Okay, so she was... I'm not understanding who was in control of the Ishimura, right? The Ishimura seems to be... It belongs to the CEC, this corporation. But on board the Ishimura, then there's this church of unitology and... Yeah, I'm guessing they have no official power, actually, right? That's why she, she takes no bullshit from them. She's an actual medical officer on the ship, they're just passengers, I guess. But why would anyone be a passenger in a mining ship? Schematics for a stasis pack, okay. Hopefully we won't need to buy stasis packs at all. Because there are plenty refills across the ship. Okay, so let's see. Mm, damage is not the first thing. Uh, we have no notes. I'm wasting my time here. We have zero notes. Nada. Not a thing. Um, to biological... Biological prosthetics center? Biological prosthetics? Okay. Okay, uh, I remember this window. <laughs> okay. In case of emergency, proceed to hospital wing of medical tech. The BBC. You see how, what Isaac does? That tweets thing? I don't know what that is. So, yeah, this hand supposedly is an attachment, right? We are introduced to this new type of Necromorph. It throws uh, darts. It shoots, essentially. Security clearance level 3 required. Gibberish. Is it safe? It's not gibberish, but... They clearly tried to make them readable. So it will take more than that. They die quick, but I suppose they do damage if they hit you. With their thing. To Zad Caswell from D. Lil. Subject clerical error. Zoe. Specimen 426 is ready. Oh, Zoe Caswell. Specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought our transplants took priority over a cornea. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase, one didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth a headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Okay, so I'm guessing they are uh, cloning humans for organs? It clearly says for harvest, right? Ready for harvest. And I don't see how else they'd have access to human organs. And why they have all these babies here. And grown adults. 
There's something in the room with us, isn't there? Definitely. God damn it. Okay, yeah, it does one bar of damage. That's okay. Hmm. There is a vent here. Doesn't seem to. Okay, sanitary showers, please conserve water. Yeah, I don't think that's an issue anymore. I don't think any, anybody needs water in this place. Emergency shower? What the hell? Therapy limb... Oh, limb stimulation therapy. Okay. Oh, okay, that's how you stimulate limbs. Yeah, I guess. I guess. It would work. For muscles, at least. Do we have to turn off the lights again? I guess not. No, just the shot pads. Oh, we can power on a shortcut door and get the shot pad at the same time. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the Oh, I can speak. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. <laughs> Land the explosive charge, of course, of course. I'll be on my way. Okay, did anything change up here now that the quarantine is lifted? Let's take a quick look. There's light also. Maybe we can see something we missed. What was that? Oh, no. I always confuse uh, these <laughs> glove boxes with the things that uh, have nodes. And one of those things is very important, the other one isn't. But I have to double check every time. Okay. This way, right? Yeah. It's fine. We've got loads of them. We're selling them. Later, early. How was that? Yeah, look, when I stop moving for a bit. <laughs> Does he do it every time? No, not every time. But sometimes when I stop moving, he twitches a bit. Schematic submitted, item now available. So we can buy one of these, but we said we'd keep a uh, stock. Definitely gonna sell this. You know what? No, I'm, I'm actually gonna sell this. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the rest. And I'll hold on to some money. Um, yeah. <laughs> My guy wearing the shit out of it. Am I saving here? Oh, this is exactly what I needed to come? Okay. I was just trying to find cover. Yes. Oh. 
objective updated. Investigate the emergency room. Oh, that's the side mission, right? That was blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I also? No, I cannot track both. Yeah, it's one or the other. Uh, but oh wait, <laughs> my bad. I can't show the map though, and I would like to do that. Uh, wait, what? Is it still showing the captain's body now, or what? It says find the captain's body. Do I need to track it? And then go to the map. Yeah, it's right over here. Okay, so let's keep tracking this for now. Weird how show on map doesn't actually show on map. Ishimura Clinic, we are unable to accept new patients. Don't worry, I'm a doctor. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Fuck this ship. Fuck this ship, I'm out. Sorry, we are full. <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> They're in a spaceship, it's not like they have any choice. Oh, okay. I see. Weapon upgrade. Plasma cutter upgrade. Bring upgrade parts to the bench to improve weapons and gear. Sure will do. This, this, this. Oh, the marker. Okay. Save me, save us. What? Give them hope, give them... What? So they last a bit longer, we are so fucked. Don't open that door, they have come. Don't dead open inside. All dead. Ah, uh, all died. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, that's a lot of... Enough of that. Okay. Sure lock. Security yeah. clearance required. They are yellow. Okay, the morph is behind security clearance level one, so we are getting security clearance here. Medical lock, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Yes, yes, report of psychiatric observation for patient Harris B. Have we heard this name before? Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally, literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking regardless of circumstances, not Harris. His bizarre ex explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Schiarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. What? This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and, at talking about it, mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waiting periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming that the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. <laughs> what that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out my colleagues for more insight. Well, what's this? Uh, exploding beat or something? Move and transmit all is that, personnel. Yeah, it's Nicole. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, Maybe I have some PHP left. <laughs> Follow Nicole's hologram. Right here? And this is where she went. To remove the battery, ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Okay, so we'd have to move the battery here for whatever reason. Lights and sour. Oh god. The 
this is, yeah, the replay of that thing we watched. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, we can move it here to open that door. So I wonder though, uh, the showers, oh this place, okay, okay, wait, so we actually need to turn off the freaking lights, because Nicole went somewhere in here, right? Emergency shower. Grip. What? Was that a secret door? Yeah, this one doesn't have it. So Nicole had a secret lab on the Ishimura? Wait. That's clearly a necromorph, right? Of course it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this French? Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now, it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? The engineers pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Okay, we heard an audio log earlier where an engineer was saying that he's hearing uh, voices uh, from the machinery where people shouldn't be able to go. They actually found parts of a body. Several drum stations are still locked down, they don't have a way to engineering. Okay, so this side quest needs access to engineering to continue. So now we need to actually remove the power completely, right? And place it on the other one to open the door. Okay, so we need to make sure no power is applied anywhere. Waiting for the inevitable spawns. Uh, the small guys again. They actually hit me. They split me. Break. Oh, come on. We're never hitting anything. Stop that stomp. Anything alive, anyway. Oh. Someone's behind me trying to smack me. Uh, so underwhelming, man, but still. Seems to be good right now. Good enough! Uh. Oh, okay. That's what that is. I see now. I would maybe like the flashlight to stay active even when you're not aiming. I don't think it would hurt the atmosphere. If uh, anything, I think it would improve it. Oop. Oh no. That's a... I just threw a mine over there. Can I pick it up? Without blowing myself up? No? I can only... 
Oh no. Okay. That's okay. That's cool. That's cool. ER hallway A. Uh, sure, sure. Oh. Oh, back to the clinic, it's inaccessible. Yeah, something's gonna go. What? Did they change their mind? Oh no. Like, th this can't cut the limb if its existence depended on it. It's so underwhelming. What is he doing? Is he gonna... So that was it, right? Yeah. Is he held back? Good to go. Equipment storage. Uh, requires clearance level 2. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this with me. Seems like it's gonna be useful. Or maybe not. Or maybe it will. But I would not just walk around with this thing in my arms and might miss something. Uh, do this. No. This is, yeah, that was clearly a uh, hidden. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will help me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Patient 0135. Okay, uh, you guys heard that, right? Isaac is clearly hearing voices. Yeah. Oh, we check behind you. behind you I was too slow Not bad. Mercer it's Terrence Kite you were in surgery so I left this with Warwick okay don't be discreet I just got the latest report from Aegis 7 the situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms depression hallucinations more violence People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. So there is an oxygen pack over there, and <laughs> I guess you all know what this means. This area will depressurize at some point. What? Nicole? Is that Nicole? No, it isn't Nicole. It isn't. Just another blonde woman. But what is it doing? Do I have access? No. 
Keep hearing voices. Okay. I'm fully expecting to at some point turn around and them not be there. Like there's some kind of hallucination. But maybe they're actually there. Dr. C. Mercer. Two more. Cadaver storage capacity exceeded. <laughs> okay, why would it say that on the door? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's nice. I guess a ship would have, have something like this. A spaceship of all things. Okay. To the morgue then. What? Been kicking this, kicking this body all the way to the elevator. More oxygen recharge stations. Ah, beautiful morgue. What's that? Oh, I thought he had something stuck in his face. time again okay I just want to find the captain's body please and I'll be out of here pronto medical log dr. G Damas medical examiner report of death on ship subject captain B Matthews oh it's the captain's autopsy or whatever it's my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce captain Benjamin Mathi Matthews dead Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age. The cursory blood test indicates his left side count was very low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicate rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the rib cage indicate he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing a rapid neurotrauma seizure and death. If you didn't understand, they stabbed him through the eye. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination requires, required the removal of the object to confirm the cause of death, but it has not been preserved. It has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record the preliminary verdict of unnatural death, whether deliberate or accidental, is beyond my jurisdiction. Okay, so he was killed for whatever reason. Well, we know the reason. Everyone is going berserk on the ship. Emergency room, this is also behind uh, level 1 autopsy room. Is he in here? Are we finally finding him? Yeah. Oh yeah, here he is. Okay. 
Is there anything I can throw at him? No in particular. Okay, and then this thing. Oh, it keeps reanimating people. No, you don't. I thought if he was gonna reanimate them, maybe there is already loot in them. Oops, that was also a human. I didn't mean to do that. Where is the other body? I'm sure I killed one more. Ah, whatever. Uh, where is the captain's body? Right over here. Well, he used to be a captain at some point. He's not a captain anymore, so don't worry about it. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! <laughs> Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. Yeah. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Still haven't found her. Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. <laughs> So yeah, it seems uh, that's how they propagate. Okay. Yeah, does that mean that I actually now need to... ...turn voice again? For good measure. Like... Uh, maybe I sh I'm better off accessing it from the other side. Where does this take? There's a lot of level one uh, clearance confirmed. Chests and whatnot that we have skipped, right? And I, honestly, I do not remember where each and every one is, and I will not go back to watch episodes just to. Isaac, I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh yeah, oh, that's what... I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Because that's what we needed, right? Uh... <laughs> a decaying orbit. What is this? What am I supposed to? Oh, okay. Oh, that's just a huge room. The, the morgue is considered the single room, the entire thing. Okay. Uh, you know, we have to look around a bit since we're here then. Yeah. Clearance confirmed. We open as many of these as we can. Clearance confirmed. Nice, nice. Okay, voices are getting uh, more and more regular. I'm thinking, yeah, this is the way to go to the objective. But, oh. Well, we'll come back in here for that one. But we should look around a bit. Uh, like... This just leads to the... Was there anything? Oh yeah, I think there was. Oh, this is level 2? Okay. Uh, that shows on the map, right? As a level 2 door? Yeah, okay, that, at least that shows. The door show. Wasn't there anything? Was it my imagination? Am I just misremembering because of the level 2 door? Probably. 
Relax, Isaac. We're rolling around for a bit. And then... There's nothing here. And yeah, this leads to the elevator that leads down, and there is nothing in there except what's that? Nothing, the door is just laid up. Okay, we'll take a break here. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. This is actually very, very good. Hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.